it's not worth it. We want to take a break and actually find out who we are. <laughs> Hi guys, by the title of this video, I'm sure we have some explaining to do. This video is not easy to make and definitely not something that we planned on making, but because I put my relationship out there and everything, it is something that I want to be very transparent about. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we broke up, but not with each other, with Hong Kong. Basically, this announcement is that we are moving. After like three years of living in Hong Kong, we will be moving back to California, and then who knows where or what's going on, but we figured we'd give you guys an explanation. We've had a lot of people asking us what's going on in our lives. Yeah, I mean, it's just been pretty hard ever since the protest happened. A lot of things slowed down when the protest started, and and then we kind of tried to stick it out for as long as we could and then things i mean i guess they kind of got a little better here and there and then this coronavirus started it's gonna be a while before it finally bounces back onto its feet to where it was i wanted to move in november and he didn't want to and we had this like not fight but we didn't know what we wanted to do so i was gonna move back and then he was gonna wait it out i ended up actually working in november quite a lot so it gave us a lot of hope and it made us think that life was actually going to be good again but ever since july we've both been super depressed and just really over life you can't really leave the apartment and if you do you're either going to be stuck in a protest or you sneeze in public and now you're being shamed because you think you have some virus and we're just really over it and so we are moving april 1st we're not gonna be models anymore i've been a model for tired yeah i've been a model for eight years i've had to worry about how i look every single day for the past eight years how people look or think of me i couldn't have any breakouts without worrying i couldn't gain weight lose weight change my hair or anything without approval and that's a really long time, especially for my biggest like growth and finding yourself. I couldn't even find who I really was because I always had someone telling me how to be. And he's been modeling for 27 years, yeah, 28 years. 25, 26. It's just something we want to take a break and actually find out who we are. I want to take, I, I feel like it'll be nice to have a break to actually focus and do things that I want and not like cater to the industry that I work in. <clears throat> so that'll be a nice change. Mm -hmm. It's not right. It's not right. And I mean, Hong Kong is great. I still love Hong Kong, but you know, it just doesn't bring us the joy that it did when we first were started here. It, uh, it used to be nice. I mean, I guess we did go out and do the whole nightlife thing a whole lot more. I used to PR out here. I mean, everything kind of just shut down along with the protests and now the virus and it's just not the same island. Everything's depressing. Everyone's in a depressed mood. Nothing's the same, so. You can't even like talk to people just as like a conversation as people are, are so depressed and like our agency and everyone's agency it's not just ours if you talk to them they're so sad that you can't even like get any conversation needing to know like when the market picks up or how the economy is is actual real facts and things that we need to know as models because we depend on the economy so not even being able to talk to anyone is like hard and I mean, even even when it was good, you know, we're still we're still here paying like two thousand U.S. dollars for a three hundred and fifty square foot apartment. I mean, two thousand dollars back home, we could <laughs> be living in like a four bedroom house away from everyone. We got neighbors that you can see through there. We cook breakfast. We see our neighbors take out the trash. We see three of our neighbors. So it'll be a nice little break. It's been a good, nice, what do you call it, growing, growing experience out here. We learned a lot. We had some good times, good memories. Time for us to finally move on and try something new with our lives. What's next? I don't know. We want to start something that fuels both of our passions, but we kind of have to figure out what that is first. So just be supportive of us. Can't really talk about crying. <laughs> Never wanted it to end, but since it's ended, there's no better time than the present for us to go home and start something new they started to do trade with china again so we had like the opportunity to get toilet paper and things because we were not able to get that for a long time and to just being like worrying about not being able to buy toilet paper kind of put us over the edge because things like that you shouldn't have to worry about being only 21 years old i shouldn't be stuck in a, an apartment depressed feeling like I have no out. I have so many different things that I can do in life. So we're moving out before April. We'll be back home with my family 
but we won't be there long and then we're gonna try and maybe find property and just feel our passions and just feel us and it's not even I don't know we realized that all of our friends have left everyone has left we are the one of the last man standing and we never really realized why everyone was leaving because we were still working or we still had hope but I just have this void that's just not being filled even with work like I finally got jobs and confirmed and castings and things and normally if I have a good casting that void is filled and I'm happy and I'm just not Huh. Yeah. And when you work the other day, usually with those clients, you come back pretty happy and you finish early and you told me that you weren't even happy anymore. Yeah, it's just not the same. Like I said, the vibe, everybody's depressed. You go out, you feel everyone's depression, you get depressed. Now, I guess enough is enough and we've had enough. Yeah, everything is looking good on our ends on like the place. It's pretty easy to take over a lease. We're uh, practicing even more minimalism, so most of our clothes that be sold will only have like the bare minimum of things. He's selling all of his shoes. Just the little things um, don't really mean anything to us anymore. We used to keep ourselves busy, and this is kind of how I knew we needed to move. Normally, I don't mind a day off because I can entertain myself with YouTube or editing or crafting, painting, doing any sort of artwork or creative outlook. And normally I'm fine and everything's good. And he'll play his video games and stream and talk to his friends and usually his void is filled. And we notice how repetitive it got doing the same thing every day. And my biggest fear is living a routine life. I don't like that. And we started to live a routine life, but we didn't even want really to do anything together. We didn't want to explore the city. We didn't want to, I don't know, do anything. We were going to bed at like 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Like just really early because we just wanted the days to be over. We're over it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's time for something new. It's time for something new. I'll still be making YouTube videos and I'll still be doing fun things, but for a little bit, I probably will be taking a break because I need it. I'm crying because <laughs> Happy tears. Well, I don't like change. And when you, like, when you go back a couple months when I posted my apartment tour, we signed a two-year lease. We planned on making this a home. We were really excited to finally have something together that wasn't so temporary. Our whole relationship, we've lived in temporary places. Temporary everything, the only thing that was consistent was us being together. So to put all this effort and time into a place and now have to leave, sucks but I don't know it's hard when you think you have like at least two years of your life figured out and you realize you don't and life just hits you with all of this fucking stuff but I don't know I think for now this is what's best this isn't we're not saying we're leaving Hong Kong forever but we're definitely not saying we're coming back anytime soon the economy right now is so far in recession as the business capital of the world it's impossible to have a an economy in recession and be successful there's no models working you could be the top model you are working once a month and even the jobs that we are consistent with clients that we work with once twice a month all of their pays have been cut by at least half for my aspiring models out there that are trying to go international don't let this be a reason for you not to you gotta I mean I've never experienced such an amazing experience but go somewhere else <laughs> and I know people are gonna ask me well if you're moving back home why don't you model in LA and sure maybe I'll go on some castings and do things like that but that's just not really where my heart's at this passion and this goal I've had for ever since I was like 14 years old I've filled I filled my goal I went international I worked for every dream brand I could have worked for so it's time to set bigger goals and do bigger things I want to dye my hair pink and gain 10 pounds <laughs> and have pimples and, <laughs> and have pimples and it, for a lot of people they can't relate so they might not understand like this feeling but just always having someone judge you on your look and your appearance and your attitude and your work ethic and all of that and only getting so many opportunities it's a trap and it sucks but it can be the most filling and rewarding thing too. So just for right now, it's it's not for me. It's not for him. Doesn't mean we're not going to be direct booking. We are set up on direct booking contracts. So if you're a client watching this, we will still be 
flying in and out of Hong Kong for direct bookings because we do have to pay the bills and it is still something that we're both very experienced with and are doing and do well. Passion and stuff isn't lost, it's just not our main goal right now and for all the clients and all the friends that are seeing this and we won't be able to say bye before we leave. Bye. What's that? <laughs> It's not the end, it's the beginning. Yeah. I was surprised people don't like change, so this is hard for us, for me. But we're not breaking up as a couple, that was clickbait, but we are breaking up with a city that has had our heart for three years. We met here and stuff, so it is sad, but. We we'll always have a place in our heart, but <clears throat> as far as a place in our life, I think it's time to move on. Yeah. So we'll be booking our one-way ticket and all of that and again to all the friends and clients that we don't get to say bye to we still give you our heart and everything but for us it's time to go yeah. bye